there's no better feeling in the world to me than going down the ice and scoring a goal and knowing 18,000 people are all cheering for you. This trophy symbolizes excellence, the NHL's most valuable player. In 1991, it belongs to the Blues' number 16, a blonde bomber whose very name creates excitement. The mere sight of this jersey inspires fear in goaltenders. He's the son of a hockey legend but he's quickly writing the chapters to his own storybook career. During the past two seasons, no one has outgunned the man they call the Golden Breath. With a shot that's as explosive as a weapon of war, Hull's missiles usually find their mark. More than a hockey player, more than the league's most valuable player, he is hockey's newest star, someone who has transcended the game, becoming an international celebrity. Zezel kicks it, back to Hall, he winds up the shot, he scores! He scores! Brett Hall, this is incredible! Get across the Boston line, great move around to Manu, and goal shot, he scores! What a goal by Brett Hall! Let's do it. Oates over the Los Angeles line to Brown, left side, Hall in front, he shoots, he scores! Brett Hall! The center left wing to Marjo, across the line for Oates, the Hall a shot, he scores! Join us as we relive the many great goals, the magic moments. We'll also go behind the scenes and visit with Brett at home. Watch him score big on the golf course. Learn about his passion for good old rock and roll music. Go on the set for a superstar shoot. Meet with mom, who loves to talk about her little boy Brett. And of course, hear from the legend himself, Bobby Hall. A proud papa who now watches his son, his legacy, demolish NHL scoring records. It's all here in Brett Hall, Hockey's Top Gun. You know, I've said it before, I wake up every day scared to death that I will never score another goal. Here's Paul Cavalini, ahead to Hall. He's in alone, a shot. The season ends, uh, and you look back, and I, I go, I just got 86 goals. What the heck am I going to do now? And Hall has it. One man back. Hall. Around a man, a shot. He scores. What a goal by Brad Hall. Lost it. Here's Oates. A great pass to Hall. He's got a break on right wing, and alone, a shot. He scores. Uh, this is just a tremendous honor, and uh, you know I'd like to thank the uh, unreal the uh, writers uh, for choosing me. Uh, you just look back at all the great people who won this award, and it's it's just a thrill to be on the ballot. And then I win the Hart Trophy, and you just look at the people who've won that, and including my father and Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, Bobby Orr, Gordy Howe. I mean, these are their legends, and all of a sudden I'm thrown in this group of people and uh, you know I, I have no idea what to say or people say congratulations uh, what a tremendous year uh, well deserved to win the Hart Trophy and I don't know what to say I, I only know I just say it was very fun to play and I hope I can continue to play with that uh, at that level for a long time as the league's most valuable player during the 1990-91 season Brett Hall may have surprised even himself. 86 times his shots found the back of the net. Goals scored from every conceivable angle. Goals bringing fans in St. Louis and around the NHL on their collective feet. 86 incredible times. Shot, rebound, Lowry there. And he put it off the leg. Rebound, Hall, a shot, he scores! can't 
clear. Paul Cavallini centers to Hall. He shoots and scores! Paul Cavallini sets up Hall, and there is number 76. You know, I go out there and... Uh, uh, I seem to have a knack uh, for finding the openings, and and uh, I can shoot the puck pretty well. But uh, other than that, you know, uh, it's been said I'm not that great a skater. Uh, I'm not that good defensively. Uh, uh, I'm getting better, but I'm still not that great a team leader. Uh, uh, that's something uh, I'm working on more and more every day. But uh, it's those things, you know, I don't kill penalties. Uh, it's those little things that make you the great player and uh, I don't do a lot of those uh, little things very well and uh, until I do and until I can uh, become the complete player like a Wayne Gretzky I, I won't consider myself that good the headlines scream of greatness for the player who doesn't feel he's all that special over the past few years, Hull's hockey heroics have made big news throughout North America. Of course, it helps when you score 158 goals in just two seasons. And tonight's number one star, no doubt about it, Brett Hull had two goals and two assists, including his 50th of the year. And the number one star, Brett Hull. He scored twice. And our Budweiser first star, no question about it, Brett Hull with three goals and one assist. And the number one star with a hat trick is Brett Hull. It's very difficult for me to be uh, uh, recognized as one of the greats uh, because everyone tells you how good you are and that's uh, very hard for me to accept. Recently, Hall wore the red, white, and blue jersey of Team USA in the Canada Cup Series. Brett also wore a wireless mic for this game against Czechoslovakia. Playing for his country and for national pride fueled the NHL's top gun with even more enthusiasm. That worked, boys. Come on, Wally. Hey, boy. Oh, get that son of a... Musel. Oh. My God, kill me. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. That's a bad call. Look at the two D up there. I like it. Let me in, Chili. Yeah! I'm here, Chili! Yeah! Boy, Turk! Whether playing for the red, white, and blue, or the St. Louis Blues, the Golden Brett always gives his fans a hull of a show. There is no doubt that, that he brought this franchise to, <clears throat> to a higher echelon of achievement, and uh, identification first with our fans number two with the league uh, authorities the opponents have now noticed that the blues are a better team and brett does just skyrocket Round again works into brett hall and drive he scores what a rocket by brett hall that is number 60 for the golden brett i, I consciously know in my mind when he comes on the ice and I try and let the viewers or the listeners know when the Blues change and he comes on the ice because every time he's on the ice the focus is on him. He's the kind of guy you come and pay your money to watch. You, you know, he's electrifying. There's a few athletes out there who are like that. Uh, he happens to be in that category that uh, you want to watch him because at any time anything can happen. He slams the puck off the glass to Brett Hall, winding up to his own line to the red line. A slap shot. He scores! Brett Hall from just over the center red line scores against Belfour. Well, he seems to get about uh, 12 or 13 shots a game, and you know. He's got such a good shot, you know, you have to be right on your game, otherwise he's going to get two or three on you. And Howard Chuck and Oates ready again for another faceoff. Oates kicks it to Hall, he shot, he scores! In overtime, oh, it's unbelievable! He's always in the slot, and uh, like I said before, with his release, 
I mean, it's, it's tough to uh, get set on the shot because he shoots a lot between the legs and it makes the goalie look bad, and I don't like to look bad. Checked in the corner by Scrudlin. Now Stevens gets it, a rocket, a save by Waugh. Oates far corner to Hall, a shot, he scores! Brett Hall, a power play goal, number 45, and it's 1-1. There's that shot again, folks. When Brett Hall has the puck in the slot, a lot of NHL goalies can look bad. That's when he unleashes his uniquely wicked snap shot. It's a combination wrist and slap shot that's enabled Hall to go from gunner to goal scorer, the greatest goal scorer in the NHL today. I can't take a slap shot anymore. I don't know what it is. I just, uh, I've got a reputation for having a great shot and I really appreciate that and I certainly don't want to lose it, but the. Uh, I think my wrist shot's harder than my slap shot. Brown moves in, plays the puck into the corner to Holly, comes in front, shoots, he scores! Brett Hall! My, oh my, what a shot upstairs! Holy cow! I learned uh, after I scored 41 goals and was told uh, uh, that I could do so much better, I said, well, how can I do so much better? And I thought about the way I played and I said, well, you're certainly not going to ever score 50 goals or 60 goals by taking slap shots every time you touch the puck. You're going to have to maneuver yourself somehow closer in and, and develop that wrist shot. Right wing feed to Hall. He's in the clear on right winger shot. He scores! Brett Hall! That's the most awesome weapon in hockey right now, I think, is the, is the snap shot. Blues, Hall over the line, cutting in the left wing, a shot, he scores! Brett Hall! That boy could always shoot. When he was 10 years old, he could stand at the red line, and he could literally wrist the puck in the net, and it would be at least a foot off the ground. Stand at the red line, wrist one after the other, right into the net, which is amazing. I don't think there's some pros that can do that. <laughs> Left wing pass to Dennis Hall, and Dennis hurries in, leaves it for Bobby. Shot! Score! 600 National Hockey League goals! Some of this is an obvious gift of genetics. Back in the 60s, Brett's father, Bobby, revolutionized the game of hockey with his explosive slap shot. The Golden Jet, as he was called, was the first NHL player to score more than 50 goals in a single season. In fact, during the course of his 16 NHL years, Bobby and his booming shot scored 610 goals. And eventually, Chicago's number nine blasted his way into hockey's Hall of Fame. And now, that awesome shot, that incredible scoring touch, has been passed down from the legend to the legacy. It's unbelievable. I, uh, I'm not a real religious man. I, uh, I certainly believe in God, but I don't, uh, I don't go to church and, and pray and things. I figure he knows uh, I believe, and that's good enough for me. But that has to be a God-given talent. I, uh, I don't know how I do it. I just get it and release it and it seems to go very very hard and very accurate and i honest god i have no idea how i do it but it's uh something i'm very thankful for and brett hall can score him any which way he gets the puck and he shoots it without the goaltender knowing and i didn't even know and i used to love to score goals but i just blasted him and i used to watch brett I said, how does he do it? And then I saw if a goaltender put his weight on the left foot, he'd throw it beside his left foot. If he came out and put it on his uh, weight on his right foot, he'd throw it past him on the right foot. I never could think that way. <laughs> you know, I found out uh, when I was 16 or 17 that uh, I was Brett Hall and I was never going to be anyone but Brett Hall. And, uh, uh, there was no sense trying to be Bobby Hull or, or, uh, or ever play like him because there's only one of him and there only ever will be. He plays all over the ice. I just knew that I could skate and I had conditioning and could shoot the puck. But he's, he plays so well without the puck. He's fun to watch, isn't he? Great to watch. I definitely think it's some type of genetics. I mean, I watched his father play, and he had a tremendous shot. He innovated the game with the curve and the hockey stick. And I think that Brett's innovating the game, just showing guys that if you get in the right position and release the puck hard and quick and pick your spot, it goes in. This jersey represents a career turning point for Brett Hull. It's his St. Louis Blues jersey. Brett first wore it back in March of 1988. 
At that time, he was traded by the Calgary Flames to the Blues. Things haven't been the same since. As a part-time player with, uh, with Calgary, he scored 25 and 27. And it entered my mind that one day he'll want to achieve more because that's how his dad was. Ultimate achievement. And the trade was not easy. I mean, we had to pull a few strings. Uh, uh, it cost us uh, Ramage and uh, Wamsley. But, um, and they won a Stanley Cup with these two players in their lineup. But uh, it was strictly some kind of a miracle that Brett became the Brett that we know. And we still have a lot of good moments ahead with him. And then getting traded to St. Louis, that's... That's the greatest thing that's happened to me. You know, I've had 86 goals. I've uh, scored 50 goals in under 50 games and 72 goals. I won the Hart Trophy, but uh, getting a chance to go to St. Louis, uh, it's the best thing that's happened to my hockey career. Brian Johnson there. Here's Brian. And now breaking in, Brett Holt. Here's Holsey coming in. The shot. Oh, he scores! Tie hockey game! Hull has always shown a knack for scoring. As a sophomore at the University of Minnesota Duluth, he led the collegiate ranks in scoring with 52 goals. And in just two years as a Bulldog, Hull blasted home 84 goals. He could light it up. His presence on the ice, he commanded a lot of respect from the players in the league and around the country. I've never seen anybody that could release a shot as quickly as him, as being accurate as him. He gave me a lot of thrills both on and off the ice. Uh, he was one of the few players that I can never remember that seemed to legitimately smile when they played, and I still see that in him today. The smiling college star was drafted by Calgary in the sixth round of the 1984 amateur draft. And though Brett scored often during his years with the Flames, there was a feeling around the NHL that the guy with the golden hair and the golden shot was a bit too laid back and maybe a bit too carefree to ever fully tap his tremendous potential. You look in the dressing room before games and you see the guys and they're, they're like this and they're shaking. And, and I, I, I look and I just say, you can't play hockey like that. It's a game of reaction and, and agility and, and touch and timing. And if you're all tense and nervous, you're not going to have any of that and you're not going to be successful. And, and uh, I go about the game with a fun-loving attitude. Uh, and it looks like I'm not putting out effort. Uh, uh, my father's in the Hall of Fame and my mother was in the ice capades. Uh, the game comes pretty natural to me and uh, it may look like I'm not trying, but uh, it's just one of those things where uh, it comes so natural that it looks that way and that I, uh, and that they uh, put that label on me. Uh, that probably hurt the most out of anything anyone's ever said to me. Uh, so I had to go out and prove them wrong. Hall credits Brian Sutter for giving him the motivation to forever erase the tag potential star from his name. During the 1988-89 season, Brett's first full year with the Blues, he scored 41 times. For most players, that's a career season. But Sutter saw there was more to give, and he wasn't shy about asking for it. You gotta grow and you gotta get better all the time. And the guys that aren't gonna get better or aren't capable of getting better, you don't want them around because your hockey club can't improve. And uh, again, Brett's a key guy on our team and he was a young man just learning and getting his feet wet in the National Hockey League. It was his first full year. And to score 40 some goals is a feat in the National Hockey League. And, and uh, it, it, was, it was very important to the, the amount of success we had but we felt that, that he could give more, and we didn't have any question at all. And, and again, we're very reasonable as coaches and as an organization, but we're very demanding, too. And if an individual is demanding of himself and is responsible to himself, he's going to get better, and, and Brett did. Wilson, that's our Eagles to move the center ice. Hall intercepts. Moving in. Shoots. He scores! Brett Hall has the hat trick! They felt in me that I could do the job offensively and Brian Sutter told me and he uh, uh, along with uh, the other coaches he says uh, you know uh, it was a year after I had scored 41 goals and I, you know I, I was feeling pretty good about myself it was only my second uh, full year in the league and uh, I'd just gotten 41 goals and I'm going yeah you know and uh, he called me in the office for the end of the year one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings and uh, in not so many words told me I wasn't good enough and that I uh, uh, they expect more out of me, and they know that I can do better, and uh, they want me to be a more of a team leader, and they want me to uh, uh, take the team uh, by the horns and, and lead them on their way. And 
I said, you know, uh, to myself, I looked, I said, there's a guy, played 13 years in the league, and, you know, he gave uh, 120% every game, and uh, he's looking at a, a kid who's coming in here, and he uh, he sees something in him, and uh, I said, he's got that kind of confidence in me. Uh, I think maybe I should show it in myself, and I went, and I, uh, I don't know if I changed my attitude, but I changed my direction. I, I put myself more of a, you know, go and do it instead of being, you know, you can be laid back, but show some focus. Hull's refocus game has brought these fans and this superstar many special moments. Two in particular stand out. The first occurred at the St. Louis Arena on February 6th, 1990. The night Brett Hall became a 50-goal scorer for the first time. It was a night the Hall family will never forget. Right before you scored the goal, it looked like you got bumped around a little bit. Uh, for the better part of an hour, the questions came ringing like a Brett Hall slap shot. A throng of reporters clustered around Hall's locker, a scene resembling a presidential news conference. But the topic here was goals, not Gorbachev. Everyone wanted to relive number 50. Big throw in my life so far, and uh, you know you got to give credit to the guys around the ice with and Sergio Manasso. Uh, For the Hall family, this magic evening began hours earlier. As Brett took a pregame skate, he knew full well that his famous father was on hand. Bobby Hall, the Golden Jet, one of the NHL's legendary scorers. Brett Hall was gunning for a goal that would make the Halls the only father-son team in history to score 50 during a single season. It's the kind of story Hollywood loves. Early in the game, Bobby Hall and some 14,000 Blues fans thought they'd witnessed historic number 50, but officials ruled a blistering Hall slap shot actually went in off the skate of Paul McLean. The Blues took the lead, and an anxious father took it all in stride. Well, they said he didn't get the goal, so I don't know. They announced, they announced it differently. So maybe it went in off McLean, so I don't know. Throughout the game, a determined Brett Hall tantalized the crowd with several near misses. The fans were ready. History just a shot away. The frustrated Toronto Maple Leafs were intent on watching number 16. In the NHL, hockey heroes named Hall paid dearly for success. High above the arena ice, the kid's dad also watched. Early in the third period, it happened. So I had the Hall breakaway at the blue line. A breakaway for Hall going for 50. He scores! Brett Hall! On this historic evening, the arena scoreboard was full of fives. The Blues led 5-3. Hall's 50th goal came at 5.55 of the third period. As a smiling Brett Hall left the ice, the biggest grin of all belonged to this famous father. For hockey's halls, it was a magical evening. 50 goals and many special memories this proud papa and his little boy will cherish forever. I guess the folks here, these 13 some odd thousand people, they, they showed it. They showed us what it all means. And, uh, when you could have a group of people appreciate you that much, then you know how much you mean to the sport and how much you mean to the game. And he means that and a whole lot more to me. Hall finished the 89-90 season with an amazing 72 goals. After the season, the Blues rewarded him with a multi-million dollar contract. Hockey's top gun was now one of hockey's highest paid players. Yet the feeling of jubilation was overshadowed by the nagging question, how do you top 72 goals? Hall seemed ready to supply the answer. 
And now, with a special presentation to Blues right winger Brett Hall, here's Chairman Mike Shanahan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Brett Hall has become only the fifth player in National Hockey League history to score 50 goals in 50 games, joining the Rocket Richard, Mike Bossy, Wayne Gretzky, and Mario Lemieux. He has become only the third player to score 50 in less than 50 games. Brett, Brett, we are proud of your accomplishments on the ice and equally as proud that you wear the blue note. As a commemoration of the 50th goal, ladies and gentlemen, we have a crystal puck for Brett in honor of scoring 50 goals in 49 games and for a fine young gentleman and hockey player. The second and greatest Hall hockey milestone occurred during the 90-91 season when Brett became one of the few in NHL history to reach the magical plateau of 50 goals in 50 games. The place, Detroit's Joe Louis Arena. The date, January 25th, 1991. I was uh, extremely nervous about it and, uh, because uh, that's something that just doesn't happen all the time. And uh, I said, I mean, Wayne Gretzky and Mary Lemieux are the only guys to have ever done it. And uh, I certainly don't want it to slip through my hands and, uh, we were in Detroit and we were playing and uh, God, I had some good chances really early in Detroit and uh, finally we had a power play at the end of the uh, second period. To Brown, fakes the shot, now for Hall, Hall fakes a shoot, he scores! Number 49 for Brett Hall, a power play goal and the Blues lead 7-2, he's one away from 50. Uh, first thing, went out in third period in the first shift, uh, Scott's even lugged it up on the power play and I came swinging in late. He threw it over to Adam Oates on the right boards uh, and I came down the left side and swung in and he laid it right out to me and I... Uh... Stevens off a check, right wing to Oates. Oates gives it in front to Hull, a shoot, he scores! Brad Hall, number 50! He scores from the slot and Hall has number 50. He becomes only the fifth player in NHL history to score 50 goals in 50 games. Number 16. Yeah, it was just unbelievable. I mean, it's uh, it was, the greatest thing was that it was from Adam. Uh, the guy had done so much for me my whole season, and not only this one, the last one, and uh, uh, to have him give me that goal, it was just unbelievable. The on-ice poetry between Adam Oates and Brett Hall does indeed border on the unbelievable. Oates is the classic playmaker. Hall, the big gunner. Together, Hall and Oates resemble a famous pop duo. One cranking out hits all over the ice. Blues win the draw, back to the point. Left point, Stevens. Along the boards to Hall, back to Stevens. Down at the right point, to Oates. In front to Hall, he scores! Out of deflection! Oh, what a play! A give and go! Face off inside the Minnesota line. Oates sneaks in front to Hall. me one day and uh, I thought this was uh, one of the greatest things anyone's ever said to me he goes uh, you know uh, you just go out and you get open uh, I don't care if there's eight other guys on the ice with us I'm not looking for them I'm looking for you <laughs> and I thought that was great <laughs> get in the movie let's keep it that won't get in the movie believe me <laughs> when he's not teeing off on goalies you'll probably find brett teeing off on the golf course golf is this gunner's favorite hobby no i hit my knee on the way out that won't make the film either at least i know since i've got editing power we'll only see good shots oh i just hit it out of bounds well let's see if i can make a putt here Good luck. I got tree damage on my ball. The whole shot, he scores! An unbelievable shot again by Brett Hall from the slot. Uh, it's become a uh, passion with me and something I just 
cannot get enough of uh, just the thrill of going out every day and having a chance of shooting under 70 or shooting par or even just going out with your friends and having a good time. It's just uh, uh, it's the greatest game. I'd rather play golf than hockey any day. I'd like to hit him into the lake. During the summer, you're likely to find Hall at the water's edge of his Duluth, Minnesota lakeside home, blasting golf balls into oblivion. But if golf is his passion, the then music weekend, eh? is his love. I playing? just hit two of the best shots I've ever hit. You know, there's Neil Young and Bob Dylan and uh, the Doobie Brothers, the Doors, Paul McCartney and Wings, Traffic. There's just, uh, there's such a wide range, but they're all old and they're all classic rock and roll. That's uh, really what it is. One of this rocker's favorite mementos is this autographed photo. It was given to Brett from one of his idols, rock star Neil Young. And then last year I went to a Neil Young concert here at the Fox in St. Louis and got the chance to go backstage and meet uh, Neil Young and Crazy Horse. And uh, what was that like? Neil? That was yeah, that was awesome because Neil Young is like my all-time favorite because uh, when I first started listening to music, he's uh, Neil Young decade is what I was listening to and. Uh, I had one speaker in my car and, and a little tape deck, and that's all I listened to. And I went backstage and I met him, and uh, uh, his father's in the Hockey Hall of Fame as a sports writer. Uh, Ralph Molina said, uh, go for the big 100, and uh, uh, Neil wrote to Brett, he shoots, he scores. Neil Young, that's uh, it's great. This is a cherished collection for me. There is another cherished collection Brett is most proud of. These hockey sticks belong to some of the NHL's biggest stars. There are about a dozen at Hall's St. Louis home. I got Mark Messier, who is, oh, he's, uh, he's the second best, I think, all-around player in the, in the league. And then I got two of the great ones. I got his, uh, one of his old Titans that he used to use, and I've got uh, one of his new aluminums that he uses now when he's in L.A. I just wish they'd make my aluminums nice and shiny like this. <laughs> so, uh, Wayne, he, uh, two Brett, health and happiness to you and your family, Wayne Gretzky. And then uh, some of the guys are a little bit uh, uh, different, like uh, Awesome Year, Stay Cool, Mark Messier. Uh, Phil Housley, two Brett, keep filling the net, friends always, Phil Housley. Uh, and Mr. Mr. Lafleur uh, wrote something in French, and I can't read it. <laughs> Anytime you're ready, just stay when you stop. Just stay there. Go ahead. The NHL's top scorer is also one of its brightest it's media down. darlings. Over the past several years, Hull's celebrity status has been rising faster than one of his blistering slap shots. It seems like everyone wants a piece of Hull. His rugged good looks and million-dollar smile have graced the pages of countless posters and publications. The cover shoots are one thing. Now, there's even a Brett Hall and Wayne Gretzky game. A computer contest between the NHL's two biggest stars. But the marketing of hockey's top gun doesn't end here. And action! The personable Hall is also in demand as a commercial spokesman. This video is from a recent filming of a Midas Muffler TV spot. Uh, scene three, take one. And action. Nobody? So, Brett, right when you stop is when you're going to say nobody. Okay. okay. Scene three, take two. And action. Nobody? You know, I've had uh, the good fortune of, uh, uh, of being asked by uh, uh, Coca-Cola in St. Louis and, and Midas in Canada and uh, Noma in Canada. And, uh, those are top quality companies, and I respect what they've done. And, what they do for the communities and uh, and uh, you know I like the limelight I like uh, uh, you know I like to be in front of the camera at times and it's fun to do things like that three take right. three and action Nobody. cut 
very comfortable with the camera, he's very comfortable with people, and those type of things uh, result in usually the image not being a contrived image of any means, but actually what you see is what you get. And if Brett Hull, he's a fun-loving guy, he's uh, very, very approachable, and the camera shows that. A goal scorer, especially one with a famous surname, makes Brett the target of autograph seekers everywhere. After most games, he's mobbed. It seems that fans around the world can't get enough of hockey's new golden boy. Dear Brett, my name is Bill. I'm 10 years old and in grade five. I hope this year you get the MVP. My dad's favorite player is Mark Messier. I have no idea why he likes him. I like you. In front of Hull, he scores on a deflection. You are a great player. You are my favorite player. You are the best player. Love, David, age five. Left it for Hall, backhander, he scores! Brett Hall! Dear Brett Hall, can you send me a picture and an autograph? My brother wants one too. Love, Brett and Keith. My name is the same as yours. Their first names may be the same, but in the National Hockey League, there's only one Brett Hall. And not many players electrify crowds like the Blues, number 16. Here's a breakaway for Brett Hall, coming in on Hackett. There's 65. On right wing, good speed, a shot. He scores! What a goal by Brett Hall! Post kicks it to Hall, a shot, he scores! In overtime, oh, it's unbelievable! As the goals keep coming and the Hall legend grows, so too does his popularity. The Golden Brett celebrity status is rising as fast as one of his patented slap shots. One barometer of Hull's popularity is the old mailbag. Each day, Blues secretary Lynn Diedrichson sorts through the team's incoming mail. This used to be a rather routine job, but no more. Hull alone receives about 200 letters a day and sometimes more than 1,000 per week. No other player in Blues history has ever appealed to pen pals and autograph hounds like Brett Hull all over the United States, um, a lot of Europe, um, Japan. The other week he got one from Japan. Um, Finland, Czechoslovakia, Germany, everywhere. Everywhere. He's just, he's phenomenal. It's really neat looking at the places the letters come from. I mean, little small towns in Pennsylvania and Virginia and uh, Czechoslovakia and Sweden and places like that. And, uh, it's, it's, it's a neat feeling to, have, to be known that far around the world, and uh, it's kind of flattering, to tell you the truth. Hull reads much of his own mail and responds to almost every autograph request. Some of the requests, though, border on the bazaar. People write Brett asking for money, investment opportunities, personal time, and worldly advice. Hull sends something to every letter writer. Even the Dear Abby or Dear Brett letters receive a reply. Dear Brett, I'm sorry about your ankle. But I have problems, too. I dropped out of school, so they told me to start over, so I just quit. And Brett sends a reply. I'm not accustomed to giving people advice, but an education is very important to all your future success. There's a few, a couple marriage proposals, and, a, uh, you know, I named my son after you, which I find really weird. But, uh, you know, I get an awful lot... Uh, from uh, older people uh, telling me that uh, when they were young, like their kids, they wrote my father and he sent them back a picture. And, and you know, that's kind of a neat feeling as well. Gives it in front of Hall, a shoot, he scores! Brett Hall, number 50! With each new goal, the Brett Hall fanfare increases. So too does the Brett Hall fan mail. The avalanche of goals and the avalanche of mail go hand in hand. Maybe it's safe to say that Brett Hall delivers the mail both on and off the ice. Brett used to take a frozen tennis ball in the ear or in the forehead a few times and he'd go down in a heap and start to cry and uh, he, this was when he was about 11, 11 or 12 and we'd go, Brett, get up or mom will come out and we won't be able to play ball hockey anymore and up he'd come, into the goal, he'd go, okay, come on, let's go and we'd switch balls and off we'd go with a, 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 a little more thawed uh, tennis ball and we'd play all afternoon with that and... Uh, He'd uh, tougher nails that kid. On the near board, two outs, back to Brown. Now to Scott Stevens, left side to Hall. He scores! Brad Hall from Brown and Stevens, a power play goal. Oh, Brett was a loving, loving child. He was 
Um, I mean, just the dimples give him away. There's several pictures I see of Brett that I just love. And um, he's always been such a thoughtful little boy. He never forgot my birthday or Mother's Day. And he always made something or drew me a picture. Uh, those are the kind of things that really meant a lot to me. And um, if he did any wrong, he was always the first to write it. So he, he's just a great little boy. And he was a great little boy. And um, to me, he's still a little boy. One woman who's not surprised by Brett's astounding success is the person who knows him best, Mother Joanne. Pictures of her little boy span the many years. They represent priceless nuggets, stories and memories which Brett's biggest fan proudly shares. He could hardly skate. He used to, you know, step around like this, you know how little kids do. And the older two boys were playing, Bob and Blake were playing on the Elmhurst Tuskies already, and it was a house league game. They were going to play against him. And uh, the tears came out of our eyes because he couldn't skate to a face-off, so the referee would pick him up and take him to the face-off. And uh, so the referee forgot him, and he left him right down at the um, goal mouth. There he was, right outside the crease. They came down, the puck came loose, and he got the winning goal. <laughs> From a little guy with dreams of game-winning goals to the National Hockey League's top gun, no doubt, Brett Hull has blasted his way to stardom. Over the line to Gordon Hull in front for Hull. He scores! Oh, what a great, great play! Here's Brett Hull in the left wing, right in a shot. He scores! Brett Hull! Gino Cavalier fanned on it. Oats to Hull! A shot! He scores! Brett Hull! The big goal. The adoring fans, the legendary name. Brett Hall certainly has provided plenty of thrills over the past few years. But fasten your seatbelts, the joyride is just beginning. There's plenty of firepower left in this big shot, and now the NHL's top gun is ready to climb back into the cockpit. Soon, he will be soaring to even greater heights. Zezel kicks it, back to Hall, he winds up the shot, he scores! He scores! Brett Hall, this is incredible! I'm looking at it one day at a time, I hope it never ends. I, uh, like I said, I'm having the time of my life, and, uh, uh, and I hope that everyone that uh, has a chance to be with me is, will have just as much fun as I'm having. Here we go. 